As thousands of children return to the classrooms today after the summer break, it's emerged that more than 100 schools in England and Scotland will be closed or partially shut. On the Friday, we had a phone call from the head teacher to say that there was an issue with the roof and that potentially uh, some of our students wouldn't be able to return to Aston Manor Academy. On the Monday, we quickly found out that three parts of the building were affected and our students were due back in on the Wednesday. So it was a real big shock and a concern to us that we didn't want any lost learning, especially in, in light of a number of the students have gone through COVID times. As an educator, as a head teacher myself, it was a no-brainer to say how can we help and how can we support. We're delighted to have the two Lister Street building, the former site of the National High Speed Rail College and NCATI building. There was an expectation that we were inheriting a really high-tech, state-of-the-art system that we can move into overnight. So it was a real shock when we walked through the door to find that wasn't in place. And especially as only a matter of hours earlier, I'd offered the facility to another school, Aston Manor, to come and join us. So very rapidly and quickly, we had to form a action-based team to try and see how do we get services back here. Staff were very concerned with the move. They were concerned that although it was a wonderful building and a lovely environment for our students, would they be able to teach as they wanted to, as a number of our students are on vocational pathways and need to utilise the internet as part of their study. So the internal network needed complete reconfiguration. We had to enable the infrastructure so that their students and teaching staff could connect to the internet. The Department for Education asked JISC to submit a proposal for the outbound connectivity. One of just key roles really in supporting the education sector is looking at new technologies um, and actually testing them. We were already working on an SD-WAN concept behind the scenes before any of this came about, which would then, then enable um, a school environment to have secure connectivity, but also then laid on top of that having uh, secure firewalling and also the web filtering. SD-WAN stands for Software Defined Wide Area Network and it's a set of features that go beyond your standard network connection. Wasif and Chris and Richard were constantly in communication about, well, where are you going to put it? What are you connecting to it? And it was very much a collaborative process with Aston. It was very reassuring to know that JISC had the technical experts to help us resolve any issues between the internal network and talking to the outside world. It was more like a Janet for schools and it seemed to tick all the boxes in terms of filtering, firewalling. So from that point of view, we recognised the solution that they were putting in place. I'm delighted to say that within 10 days, on Monday the 18th of September, we all moved up the six formers over and the staff, and we had 260 students actively engaged in their learning on that Monday morning at nine o'clock, which is quite incredible to think about. Initially, the challenges were around the logistics of, is this something we can do? Is this something that we're able to do? And now it's in place, everyone goes around their normal day lives. And of course, everyone forgets that it took a large amount of effort and a huge amount of work to get this up and going very quickly. We've heard from, from students that have moved into this particular building and actually now don't want to move out of it because of the, the incredible experience that they've been having with the use of technology. Um, and you know, for us to be able to enable that, that's what GIST does, as cheesy as it may sound, but it is about you know, making that difference, that whole learning journey um, from school right through to, to university.